I'm doing a half term vlog. <laughs> it's not even half term, it's holidays. We just call everything half term now because it feels the same either way. This is currently my music next. <laughs> I think it's impossible to be anxious when you're listening to like lo fi, chill, hip hop beats, whatever they're calling it these days. I have an entire playlist. I'll link it down below. <laughs> I am currently reading A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colas. I am, how many pages through it am I? 160. Thoughts so far. Thoughts so far this isn't a good angle for me. <laughs> Other thoughts. Other thoughts include, is when it said slow burn on the back, I was like, oh, slow burn. I did not expect it to be like, really, really slow burn in the way that it is. So it is really slow burn, you guys. Um, it's like nearly halfway through and nothing has happened and I'm concerned, but that's fine because I trust the author knows what she's doing. I'm worried that it will be slow burn and that nothing will happen for like 300 pages and then everything will happen in the last like 50 pages. Like with Siege and Storm. <laughs> yeah. two things. From filming that clip I've noticed I got a lot faster at reading than I used to be which is so cool I'm really happy about that because it used to like because I read like six pages in six minutes which is like a page a minute which is pretty good now. So yeah starting this YouTube channel was obviously pretty good. Um, let's get some decent lighting maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll film in here from now on, the lighting here is actually okay. But, also, I have noticed something about the book. This author, like, I pick it up because I have the same problem, but this author doesn't know how to write, like, convincing bonding between two characters. I had a problem writing one of my stories where I couldn't, like, make the characters bond because I had no idea what they talk about. And that's usually a sign your characters aren't compatible. So it's not great um, if they have nothing to talk about to each other that's like makes for compelling reading. So a lot of the time this author, um, Audrey Hawkehurst, tends to resort back to politics, which is like fine, but I didn't sign up for like a political thriller. I signed up for gay, and I am not getting much gay. I've got like the generic, their fingers touched and she did up the back of her dress or something, which is like... I live for that, obviously, but it's not, like, what I was into. I don't know if this is, like, illegal, but this passage is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever read. And, like, I take back everything I said. This is really gay. This is perfect bonding for these two characters. Things are finally getting going. I'm so happy. I feel like she's finally hit her flow. And, like, the story is going to be good now. So I'm really excited to read the rest. Okay, bye. You can't see me at all here, okay. Good morning. Vlog ran over, because I only filled like two clips yesterday, so it's now Monday, which means a study day, because I want to the holidays if I'm going to study ever again. And it is 6... um... 6.45 in the morning. I woke up at 6, fell back asleep for 18 minutes, now I'm running a bit late, but I've got to have breakfast. I'm gonna get started studying and I'll hopefully do some like cool time lapse clips of that because I think that could look kind of satisfying. I'm not sure, we'll see. Anyway, see you. Look at this. I went to have some toast 
This expired on Friday. Why is this still in there? This. Can you see that? That expired yesterday. Well, I'm gonna have to go hungry. Lo and behold, I think I've completely miscalculated my timetable. It is meant to be two hours per subject. But I only see geography on here once. I mean, I've got two hours for class civ, and I've got two hours for art. But I've only got one hour for geography. Hmm. I'm going to need to fix that. I just did some blurting. This is the result. It is a bit messy because I haven't done the water cycle in so long. But it is done. And I finally have, like, all the information I need. Well, no, but, like, that's one of the three water and carbon cycle units on one page. So, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so, I thought it would be cool to take you through my flashcard making process for scholarship. Like, I don't know if anyone else is doing class of A-level, because you have to do scholarship for it. And I'm doing the Aeneid. Everyone's doing the Aeneid, but yeah. <laughs> so I have these, which are going to signify the different themes, and this, which is going to be the flashcard, and this, which is going to write on the flashcard, <laughs> and I'll use highlighters to color card. So let's start with these two. Um, so I'm going to use this one for purple feels very dido, so I'm not going to use purple. More values? Okay. So this one is more values. And if I can find the end, I'm going to take it and I'm going to undo it and stick it over the top. Ta-da! Done my top bit. So then... I will put the scholar's name on one side and their opinion on the other side. And that's how I'm going to do it. So their opinion, so this scholar is, the, the name of the scholar is C.J. Mackey, but we just need the surname. It just started raining. <laughs> um, C.J. Mackey. And then on the back, in nice big writing, I'm going to put Aeneas's general concern to facilitate fate is the cornerstone of his pietas. And there we go. A scholar flashcard. So when I'm going through, I can pick whatever theme I want to look at. So this one would be, I think, not moral values, because this seems more like it's about fate. Uh, fate and heroism. I mean, a lot of them are multiple themes, but I'd rather classify this into... Hmm... Oh, well, I'll figure that out. You don't need to know. But basically, if I want to pick this theme, whatever colour this theme ends up meaning, I can go back and I'll be like, okay, I'll revise this set of themes, and I can see the cards, themes really easily, and then I'll go through and I'll revise them all, and it'll be great. And yes, that is how I will revise my scholars to make sure I have enough for the exam. Okay, time to make some more flashcards. I'll speed the rest of this footage up.
I wanted to do like a satisfying clip of me ticking off the things, but I forgot. So anyway, update. I've done all of my World of the Hero work. I still have half, no, I still have an hour left of geography, an hour left of Imperial Image. I'm probably going to cut art down to half an hour because it doesn't usually take me that long. And it's kind of just a relaxing thing anyway, so that I can move geography up and I can still finish at 12. So, yeah. Because I don't take three academic subjects, I take two academic subjects and art. So, yeah. I don't have as much work to do as like everyone else. I also have way fewer exams and I'm really happy about that. But the next task that I have to do is to put this timeline that my teacher uploaded onto this timeline online. So we'll see how that goes. Right, better do some more reading. I am currently here. I've just got up to this far, got some notes down. I'm hoping to finish this before I go away to Greece. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm filming a vlog to post is because I'm going to be in Greece and I need something. And also, just so you know, I won't be able to watch new videos until like the next Tuesday, so... <laughs> yeah, but... This is where I'm at. 251 out of like 380 pages. So I've got about a little under um, 200 pages to go. Let's see how much I can get done today. So I just realised I should do an update because I just finished A Fire and Stars just in time to go away to Greece because I only want to bring my candle to Greece. I don't want to bring any big heavy physical books. So, thoughts? The ending was, okay, no spoilers, but the ending was surprisingly good. I was really worried that it was going to be one where it's like too open-ended and I leave it open-ended and you never know what actually happens to the characters, but it's not, and I'm so happy because I ended up caring so much about the characters. Okay, that's not entirely true. The characters were okay. Um, there were things I did like about them and things I didn't like about them. They were kind of boring to start with, but they got a lot more interesting as the story went on, as their relationship developed, which I think... Yeah, it should, your character shouldn't be developed primarily through their relationships or their romantic leanings, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> so, it was good. The romance was really, really cute. Um, yeah, anyway, I don't want to talk too much about my thoughts because I'm going to do a review video on it because I know just opinions differ and I want to put my feelings into the pot. But I think it's going to be 3 stars, 3.5 stars. It would have been 4 stars. But there's this one little bit, which like, mm, like there are two things which when I was reading it I was like, okay, there are a lot of faults which I found in it, and it's like, I still need to figure out the way I rate things. I think currently I'm going for three stars, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> currently I'm going for three stars means it was okay, and I don't have particularly strong feelings either way. Two stars means it was kind of bad, but not like so bad that I would tell no one ever to read it ever. One star is this is terrible and a waste of time. And then four stars will be it was good but it had faults and five stars will be it's a perfect thing and it changed my life. I want to be more careful with how I do like my five star ratings. I want to leave it so it's literally just books that changed me as a person <laughs> that are five stars. And this year I've actually had quite a few of those so I'm very happy. I think I might just be in like a stage in my life where I'm changeable. It's probably got to do with the planets. Probably. I'm gonna blame the planets. <laughs> That's the only thing I know how to do. No, I'm kidding. I've been going through things. Uh, I think it's a combination of multiple factors, but yes. So that's what I think of the book. Um, this is probably gonna be the end of this vlog, unless if I do like a sped up clip of me packing who knows? <laughs> if I do that, that goes in here.
So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time and I might vlog Greece, I don't know. By the time you see this I will have been there for one, two, three, four days. So <laughs> ask me if I'm enjoying myself, I will have Wi-Fi. Uh, at least I think I do. I'm on a network which allows me to get like the same data that I would get in England, so we're good. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, it's gonna be great. I can't wait to go to the thingy-ma-bob, the Acropolis, and also Delphi, and also all the cool places. So yeah, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching, etc. Also, I don't have an outro anymore because I just couldn't be bothered to insert music every time. So bye.